Back to that Kevin show with Kevin McCullough. Well, my next guest uh, stars in an upcoming Pure Flix film that you can get on demand, which is one of those advantages of the new way we do everything nowadays. Uh, but she she plays a very interesting character and very interesting story, and she's here to talk about it. Please help me welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Mackenzie Mosey. Hi. Hey, Mackenzie, how are you? I'm great. How are you? It's, it's good to have you here in New York. Uh, I so appreciate you coming on. We we like to highlight particularly the stuff that's helpful for uh, kids and families to be able to enjoy entertainment together. And I'm I'm guessing that uh, you as actors and actresses and producers and directors don't seem to mind the fact that content is expanding as well. A lot of different areas to be able to focus on. Yeah, it's a different world for sure. Um, it was starting before COVID, but definitely during and after COVID, every so many things are remote and it's like pilot season isn't as much of a thing anymore. Just from an actor's perspective, there's just right. so many shows, so many different outlets. And I think what's really cool about this movie is it's very family friendly and um, uplifting. And I have a lot of cousins and some little nieces and nephews. So it's nice to be able to do something that they'll enjoy watching. <laughs> But it's it's not just the appetite of the consumer. It's also the delivery systems that have changed. And maybe you could speak to this. But you know, there used to be um, you you would you would mark it on the calendar Thursday night Cosby yeah. Show. You've got to be yeah. there. And now it's almost and and this is almost a verbatim uh, conversation I have with my wife. But it's what do we have? And that doesn't yeah. mean what's coming on. It means what has already been released and is waiting in queue. And there may be five or six different episodes or shows that we're that we're watching simultaneously, and we don't we don't do one episode a week trying to get we just cram it all, get it done, and then go yeah. on to the next one. Um, but yeah. there are some that are still releasing things, guy, kind of appear on an episodic level. So it's it, there's kind of a mix of that. But I think it's going to become all about what the consumer wants when they want it. And Pure Flix has really learned to um, agree to the appetite of the family friendly uh, consumer. Yeah, they have. I this is my first film with them. Um, and, you know, Sony Firm, I guess now. Anyway, yeah. I don't understand all of the business <laughs> parts of it, but I think they own PureFlex now. Um, but anyway, uh, I think that they do a really good job of that. And I I noticed when I read the script that uh, it had a really special place and it deals uh with real life like real i mean not everyone gets left at the altar but real loss and heartbreak and just that process of navigating how to figure out who you are on the other side of yeah. such a low point and what your purpose is and and kind of taking a leap of faith as as she did going to taiwan but i i think while it is wholesome and family friendly it's also dealing with some real life things and has a lot of humor in it so i i hope that it's entertaining and inspiring it's, it's honest and it has some real emotion um for people that have not uh, had a chance to see it uh, just give us the thumbnail of what the storyline is yeah so kelsey uh has a big heartbreak at the beginning she gets left at the altar she uh, is overwhelmed and numb and she gets this opportunity to go teach english uh, to students in taiwan and so she jumps on a plane goes to Taiwan and is just trying to figure out who she is and redefine her relationship with God and, and what her purpose is anymore. And um, meanwhile, she's dealing with um, her mom being sick at home. And, and she creates uh, these relationships that are so powerful in Taiwan that she did not expect. And it begins to change her perspective and her life. Um, so I, I think largely it's a story about how God works through hard times and um, the good that can come through dark phases of life. Um, and again, she has a sense of humor. So I, I appreciated that as an actor. It was did you have anything, did you find anything in Kelsey that resonated with you? Yeah. I mean, I had experienced heartbreak. I've experienced feeling like I lost a little bit, not knowing what was next and and feeling like a failure almost. And just, uh, I think when I go through something hard, I tend to get hard before I get soft. And um, Kelsey, I think is a little bit like that. Mm. Uh, so I just really appreciated this journey that she 
goes on to find her strength again and reconnect to who she is and who she's meant to be. Um, so I feel like I've been on a, a similar journey in my my own life and, and navigating um, a phase of life that I would say was marked by a lot of loss. And uh, and I, I, I just appreciated how she was vulnerable, but also kind of like, you know, funny and, and uh, engaging with people and like trying to navigate how much of herself she gives and um, just really kind of messy, but also beautiful at the same time, just well, trying it's interesting. to- if you talk with uh, human behavioralists, they'll tell you that the key to overcoming uh, significant loss, um, traumatic emotional loss, uh, loved ones, divorce, all the big things that kind of hit the the big loss button in our lives, that it's um, it's reinvesting in people that's that that saved you. So it's you know you feel the loss, and it, it would seem to be counterintuitive, especially in the modern culture, to say uh, to go on a, a an others focused. Um, a mission in your life, but yeah. it really is, it really is kind of a saving grace. It's like, it gets you out of yourself and starts and starts mm -hmm. helping you understand the, the blessings you have and how you can help bring those about in other people's lives. For sure. You, it changes your perspective. And I think it, it makes it nearly impossible to just be self-focused on what you're going through. Um, when you kind of put yourself out there like that and, and her case specifically she's dealing with a language barrier and a completely different culture but I do think my tendency when I'm going through something is to like my friends call it turtle time um but the reality is, <laughs> I love that expression that's great just give me a second I just gotta, in my I shell process. right now that's it yeah but well, um my best friends you know we've all learned from each other that to lean on each other is is where there's a lot of hope Friendships are valuable. Uh, we appreciate uh, Mackenzie, you coming in and uh, taking a, a, a little bit of time to explain. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at the trailer right here and Mackenzie Ma uh, Mosey, uh, starring in Sun Moon, now available on Pure Flix. Take a look. Kelsey, go away. <sighs> okay. Hey, girls. Hey, Maida. I'm sorry to hear about. What do people call it? Getting left at the altar. Okay, well, mm, keep praying. I think God uses everything. What you love, your mistakes, your whims. I guess if you're stuck, maybe take a leap of faith. He offered me a job teaching in Taiwan. What? There's nothing for me here. You should go before you start crying. Kelsey, this is your class. Please. Teacher, are you from America? Are you a movie star? Do you watch American movies? Fast and Furious. Mission Impossible. Hey, hey, hey. Shh. Okay. Okay. Can you help me? I don't know what I'm doing. I can't go back, and I refuse to admit one more failure, you know? God, you don't understand English because. Me too. This is embarrassing. Ready or not, we'll be right back.